The year was 2060, and something incredible was discovered. A luminous child. For any stupid people out there, that means he glows. And at first, they thought it was magic. Oh my god, the baby's Jesus. But later, we would find out that these were caught quirks. Superpowers of sorts. And after this event, people with superpowers started popping up across the globe. And to everyone's surprise, this would lead us into an age of heroes. People with remarkable abilities. People who would save people and use their powers for good. And would inspire all to do the same. This gave rise to a new profession. But they wouldn't let just anybody become heroes. That's where Minopolis High comes in. Here, new heroes are trained every day to use their powers for good and learn how to control them. And only the most prestigious and well-deserving heroes can make it in. Where does that leave me, you might ask? Your humble narrator slash protagonist? Well, my name is Zack, and since I was a little boy, I've always dreamed of becoming a hero. And today is the expected day of my Minopolis High application coming in. And I already know that I'm gonna... Fail? Oh my god, I can't believe I failed. Come on, Zach, it's not that bad. Nate, what do you mean? I, I failed. It's an only one try application. After you fail once, you can't apply again. Did they, like, at least say why you failed? Well, I checked on the application and on the website, and it didn't give me a complete reason. All they said was that my personality and my morals weren't right, and also said that it could also be that my powers were too weak. Okay, the last one is obviously not true. You have ice powers, come on, that, that, that's fucking dope. Do you think about my morals and maybe maybe I'm not fit to become a hero because I'm not a good person, who knows? <sighs> Zach, just because an association tells you that, that you're not a good fit and that you're pretty much a terrible person doesn't mean that you're a terrible person. If you believe everything online, then that means I'm a terrible person. Were you even listening to me? No. <sighs> I'm sorry, Nate. I'm just... I'm just baffled that I failed. I scored very, very well. I I got above an 80% in in pretty, much, in pretty much every single fitness score and power score, but the only thing was the moral part. Well, if you're questioning their decision, you do know you can just go down to the high school and ask them why you failed, right? Yeah, I guess. You know what? I'll, I'll walk you there, man. Okay? Come on, let's go. Wait, what? Now? I thought you said tomorrow. Zach, report. We sleep. We sleep on sleeping bags. We 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 don't e we don't even have our bedroom. We 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 sleep in that same room for God's sake. We don't have a stove. We have a freaking fireplace, and our fridge is the only thing that's actually running on electricity. And we forgot to pay our cable bill. What else do you have to do today? Okay, f fair point. So come on, bro. We have nothing left to lose. Come on. How bad could it be? You know what, Nate? You, you're right. It can't get worse than this. We have zero need for your capabilities. Hey, don't look at me. I said it couldn't be that bad. But this is not completely terrible. <sighs> Sir, what do you mean by you don't need his capabilities? His power is, yes, fairly powerful, but we have no need for an ice power. But this is a hero association. Don't you, like, accept anybody who's, like, good and needs and has powerful powers and all that? Yes, but earlier today we already accepted a boy who has both fire and ice quirks, so eh, we have really no need. 
come on, sir. Maybe who knows? Maybe he only likes to use fire, and then I can use my eyes. Like, who knows? Come on. Just give me a chance, man. Sir, I'm gonna need to ask you to leave, or I'll be calling the heroes. Come on, please. Just, just give me the chance, man. Come on. I, I'll do anything. Yeah, man. Come on. It's been my little brother's dream since he was a kid to become a hero. Come on. Wait, he's your brother? Well, uh, adopted brother, but still, come on. It's been his dream to help people and to save anyone who's in need of a hero. I isn't that enough? I am once again going to ask you to leave, sir. But, but... Come on, Zach. We can get ice cream on the way. <sighs> Fine. Mm. Uh, a nice kid, but... But he's too nice if they knew what was going on in this school they would alert the association and plus anyways time's almost up anyway project villain will be complete zach you're still bummed well no shit i'm still bummed i just got rejected by these by the only association in our country Again, it's, it's a one application request, so if you don't make it the first time, then you can never apply again. <sighs> Zach, being a hero is not the only way you can make a difference in the world. You could become a cop. Okay, fair. <sighs> being a hero is the only thing I've actually dreamed about since I was little. Now that I got rejected by the association, I... I don't know what I can do. I've literally put my heart and soul into. Whoa! Um, that seems a little bit too enthusiastic. Just being rejected and losing your entire dreams. No, look behind you. It's the twin hero, Duplicate Man, and it looks like they're taking in a villain. Oh shit! You're right. You want to go check it out? Might cheer you up, man. Come on. <laughs> uh, I guess. Come on, let's go. Hey, um, Zupica Man, I, I, I'm a huge fan. Can I get your autograph? Move along, child. Yeah, you get back to class. We're conducting, you know, the research. Oh, um, well, I don't know what that means, but I, I don't even go to the school. I just went to the, to the office, and well, we, we were just heading out, and I saw you taking a villain, and wait, is that is that what's called Mr. Industrial? Isn't he a good guy? He's seen too much. Should be wipe him. No, no, let me handle this. Um, what's wrong? Move along, Chad, or we have to remove you from the premises. With force. Really? That's all? Just go with it. Um, okay. See? It worked. Wait, but Zach's right. Isn't that industrial? I see him on the news lately, and... Isn't he a good guy? Come on, Nate. You heard them. Come on. Let's just go, man. Um, let's just get some ice cream, in the, ice cream in the way. Um, okay. Wait, kid! Industrial? Please. You don't know what they're gonna do to me. It's terrible. It's inhumane. Please. Um, oh, forget it. You fanboys are all the same. You're blinded by the association's lies. You guys don't know what they're really doing to us. Industrial. Uh, move along, child. Again, remove the move, remove you from the premises. Um. Okay. You son of a bitches! Get off me! No! No! What the? Wow, this show is so good. Zach, you are aware you're just watching a blank screen, right? Shut up! I'm using my imagination! Here- oh, okay, here comes the good part! Zach, did you find anything weird about when we went to school today? Mm, not really. There was that industrial man theme, but eh, they were probably playing a prank on each other or something. 
Well, when you went outside, I kind of stood back to see what was going on, and well, it didn't seem like he was playing, and he seemed scared. Ah, come on, Nate. You're worrying too much. Zack, I think he's in trouble. I think we should go back to the school. But we can't go in school unless we had an application or or we're, or we're an actual student or teacher. I mean, we can go right now, like when the school's closed, so there's no security. But isn't that illegal? Well, only if we get caught. Okay, Nate, you're sounding like a true villain right now, and I don't know how I feel about that. Trust me, I know what I saw. Okay? He looks scared. Um, okay, then come on, let's go. Wait, really? Well, again, as you said earlier, we have really nothing to lose, so I'm fine with it. I have really nothing else to do besides just watch imaginary TV. Great! Come on! Let's go! Okay, come on. Okay, so we're here. So, um, Nate, um, looks like the door is locked. How are we gonna get in? We're gonna break in. Come on! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that taking a little, little bit too far? Earlier it was okay because we could just walk in and the security wouldn't see us since we weren't even supposed to be there to begin with. But now, like, it's basically just breaking and entering. Do you want to save industrial or not? Okay, that's just an assumption. We don't even know if he's in danger or not. Trust me, Zach. I'm the most logical out of us two. Okay, I'm, I'm your big brother. Come on. Trust me. Fine. I'll just use my I'll just use my ice powers to break in. Thank you so much, Zach. I don't know how. If you were about to say and how you couldn't repay me, um, you then give me some ice cream later. Deal. Now come on, break it open. Okay, here we go. Ice powers activate. Ooh, that was one calculation I might have left off. It destroyed a part of the wall. Okay, well, bad news, buddy. We might have to, um, how should I say this? We might have to end this little thing sooner because uh, they they probably have a sensor for the wall being broken. Okay, fair point. Come on, let's go. Okay, lead the way, fearless leader. Shut up, Zach. Okay, Zach, now now we're in. We're gonna make this quick. Where would it be? Where, where would they hide something? Well, with the room with, 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 with all the electricity. Oh, well, do you think... Okay, come on, just go. Come on, Zach, there's no way that it could be this easy to... What the fuck? Wait, you're the boys from earlier. What the hell are you doing here? You're not even students. Get the hell out of here as fast as possible. Before... Industrial... What's going on? See, Zach, I told you I was right. Okay, Nate, there's no need for gloating. There's literally a break the same freaking experiment going on here. Yeah, you're right. Industrial, what happened to you? Well, in simple man terms, they're conducting experiments to take powers from heroes. Wait, what? They hire new heroes and after they completed their assigned tax and they're not useful to the association anymore, they take their powers. That should be, be biologically impossible. Aren't quirks like fused to the person? That's the thing, kid. They took DNA from the now deceased All for One. Wait, the All for One, like the one that the number one hero Deku beat like 10 years ago? Yes. And they took that DNA and put it into this. His name is Project Villain. He's supposed to be the ultimate villain stopper. Wait, what do you mean? After Deku beat all for one, the association saw how, how much hype was centered around this. People began to believe in heroes again. That we were doing actual good and not evil. But. Uh, sorry. But after. 
But after a couple of years, the, the people started losing faith in the villains. I mean the heroes again. So they're trying to create an artificial all for one. Exactly. And that is what they made Project Villain to be a artificial all for one to steal powers from heroes. And then they could control him and force him to lose. Make him look like he's powerful, but he loses. And then people could have faith in heroes again. Well, that does sound great and all, but they're stealing powers from heroes and... What? Exactly. And I saw the patch notes for this thing. They should have listened to me. A freaking industrial man, for God's sake. I deal with robots the way they designed them. He's destined to get free will the way they put Alpha One's DNA in him. He's destined to repeat the same mistakes as Alpha One did. So he'll gain sentience. Exactly. Well, uh, industrial man, we can help you. Uh, let me use my fire to to, 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 to freaking melt the glass and then get you out of there. There's no use. My powers are already halfway gone. It would be useless, and plus the association would put a would put a hit on my head. But a detriment, we can't just leave you here, and and if we try to tell somebody about this, then they won't believe us. Exactly. I was planning on creating a group, quitting the association, and starting a vigilante group called the Villains. Wait, what? I'm sorry kids, but there's not that much time. Just here. Go to this address. And please put an end to this. Uh, the Hero Association is going downhill. And you kids are the only ones who know about this. Go to this address. There, there's a man named James. He'll tell you what to do. No industrial man, we won't leave you. Nate, come on. He's right. It's too late, and you're right. They probably triggered the alarm. They're probably coming at any minute now. Our only best chance to stop this and end this, Nate, is to leave and go to where he told us. Okay. Industrial man. Thank you. No. Thank you. Now go before it's too late. Stop, Project Villain. And stop the heroes. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to hit subscribe, leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and comment down below because I read every single comment, guys, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been a really big series, guys, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it because this is uh, this is my biggest series like ever, and like it took a lot of time and preparation, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. It, and I really like where the story is going, and this will be my deepest and most interesting series yet, guys. Even bigger than Ben 10. I, I I know, guys. This is just crazy, guys. And I love how this series is going. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. So, yeah, guys. Catch my streams every Mondays and Fridays. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And remember, stay retro, guys. Later.